gone very dry and very brittle so I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be able to save but I'll have a go nothing ventured as they say Something I've learned over the years is the way to find out how people did a job is to go and do it yourself. And I rather think that they would have put this in at least damp because dry it's got well no great strength and it doesn't like being sewn through. So I don't know. Perhaps one of you clever chaps out there will say, oh yes, I used to do this as a trade, or my grandfather did this as a trade, and the way you do it is like this, that and the other. And that will be useful if you do know things like that, because, as I say, this chair is just going to get a plywood seat on it. But the other one, which is a nicer uh, chair, I do want to restore to how it was when it was brand new and so I'm going to need to learn how to how to do this so if any of you do have any thoughts any ideas any experience of this I would be very grateful to know I went to one of our local upholstery firms and the man that runs it is about my age that's to say he's old <laughs> uh, and I told him the problem and he said we used to take these to an old chap but we haven't had one for a lot of years he said and I don't even know if he's still alive and basically the upholstery chap in my area doesn't know how to do this he used to send it to an old fella so yeah, any ideas, any clues, I would be all ears as they say.